What is nitric oxide? It's a very good question, a fundamental question to be able to answer if you're going to maintain good health and free from disease. Uh, 170,000 scientific papers in the published literature. We know now that nitric oxide is one of the most important molecules produced in the body of humans, well, all mammals uh, for that. In fact, loss of nitric oxide production is the earliest event in the onset and progression of most, if not all, chronic age-related disease, including cardiovascular disease, the number one killer of men and women worldwide. But really, nitric oxide is a signaling molecule. It's how cells in the body communicate with one another. And when you lose communication, uh, things begin to fail, cells become dysfunctional, uh, organs and tissues fail, and disease sets in. But at its core, nitric oxide is a vasodilator, meaning that it helps dilate blood vessels, increase blood flow and oxygen delivery. Um, it delivery, it's responsible for the delivery of oxygen to every cell and every tissue in the body. It's a neurotransmitter in the central nervous system, and it's also important for our immune function. In fact, nitric oxide is what's responsible for killing viruses and bacteria or any uh, invading pathogen that we as humans are exposed to. So the ability to generate nitric oxide is, as I said, what defines good health versus poor health. And so what we've done over the past 20 years is really asked four fundamental questions. Number one, how does the human body make nitric oxide? Number two, what goes wrong in people that can't make nitric oxide? Number three, what are the clinical consequences of insufficient nitric oxide production? And four, and perhaps most importantly, is how do you restore the production of nitric oxide and how do you prevent the loss of nitric oxide or recapitulate nitric oxide-based signaling in sick patients? And over these 20 years, we've made some fundamental discoveries and been able to answer all four of those questions. And through those discoveries, I have over two dozen issued U.S. and international patents on this technology. Uh, and so really getting to the core of what medicine is, is applied physiology. Once we understand what goes wrong in sick patients, then be able to give the body what it needs to restore nitric oxide production, you start to see some pretty dramatic effects on reversing chronic disease uh, just simply by restoring nitric oxide production. So again, nitric oxide is what is responsible for healthy blood flow, regulation of blood flow to every tissue and cell in the body. It's responsible for maintaining normal blood pressure, normal sexual function, normal cognition, um, and so there's nothing more important from my perspective, and the scientific literature co corroborates this, is to understand what your nitric oxide production levels are. If they're low or begin to lose your ability to nitric oxide, you must employ strategies to restore uh, nitric oxide production or else your body will never heal.